Good afternoon, everyone. It's a new start to the week, and we have more storms on the way. We already started with one late last night into early this morning. This was a look at some of the fresh snow that fell in Eden. Barbie Sunderland sent it in, and a lot of us are going to have to do some snow shoveling this week. From the Intermountain camera, though, in the Salt Lake Valley, things were fairly calm this morning. That was a look outside earlier and a look from Deer Valley just a couple hours ago. It's tough to see anything at all. It's stormy up there, and that's actually where we saw some fresh snow over the last 24 hours. Deer Valley saw four inches. Cherry Peak seeing 10 inches. This was after yesterday's storm that moved through late in the day into early this morning. Beaver Mountain seeing a foot of snow. We're going to add to these totals over the next couple days. Park City saw eight inches, 14 inches at at Nordic Valley, Snow Basin, 14 inches, 11 inches at Powder Mountain. You saw nine at Solitude and five at Snowbird. We've got winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings. In effect, you can see that winter storm warning for our Wasatch Mountains, northern Wasatch Front. You're under that winter weather advisory. So here's the big weather story. Still that deep trough of low pressure. You see it off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. And so you can see because of that, we're under that influence of southwesterly flow. So we're going to get a couple disturbances, a couple pieces of this storm that get caught up in that southerly flow and it's going to reignite and re-energize these showers and storms. So let's talk about what's next. We kind of have a break this afternoon. Some of you got hammered with snow late last night into early this morning. It was mainly far northern Utah, the Cache Valley, Ogden northward. That next storm starts moving through tonight. We may start as valley rain showers in Salt Lake County, but that's going to change over to widespread snow. So the piece of this storm is going to move through more of the state. And we're also going to get some gusty winds possible, especially down through southern Utah and up in the mountains. So another big concern, it's going to be blowing snow. We get a break tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning, though, that Tuesday morning commute, it's going to be another one of those dicey commutes. And then we have another piece of that storm Tuesday night into Wednesday. So by tomorrow morning, we could see a foot of snow up in our mountains, one to three inches through Salt Lake County. County southward in the valleys north of that northern Wasatch front a little more than that and also along the Wasatch back we could see more than that as well so be prepared tomorrow morning things are going to start to get a little bit slick out there and visibility is going to be down it's going to be tough to see Today, mid-40s, it's going to feel very similar to yesterday. This is ahead of that storm. We'll get some light rain and snow developing this afternoon, and it's going to be breezy. I mean, you already saw that camera shaking, that old mill camera. Winds this afternoon, 10 to 20 miles per hour. We'll reach 34 in Park City. We're going to be mostly cloudy this afternoon in the north, down south. Uh, we're going to see partly cloudy skies, and we're going to start to see some rain developing in St. George as well. And tonight, that's when that rain changes over to snow. It'll be breezy, snowy, and a little bit colder in the low 30s. St. George, you're going to see some rain showers early tomorrow morning. We get a break in the afternoon. By Tuesday night into Wednesday, you're going to see a rain and snow mix. We start drying out and warming up towards the end of the week, and already your weekend looking good by Sunday, low 60s. In northern Utah, we get that chance for snow tomorrow, especially in the morning, a break, a stronger piece of that storm Tuesday into Wednesday. That's when snow's likely. And behind that, the cold air settles in, and we start drying out. Next weekend, we're in the low 40s on Saturday.